What's going on, everybody? My name is Dominic, and I'm here with Power Slap News. Joining me today is Austin Turpin. Austin, did I say that right? Woo! Yeah, baby, you got it right. Awesome. You got Sweet. It right. How's it going, man? So You could have said the man, but... I apologize. I apologize. You you just saw we we started this in a hurry here. We're in a, we're in a frazzle. Some breaking news just hit the airways. But before we get into that, what made you get into power slap? I just knew I'm the man. I could slap the shit out of people. Nothing scares me, man. I just want to go out there and slap the fuck out of people. It ain't the money. It ain't the fame. It ain't the the cameras. It ain't nothing. I'm just going out there having fun, enjoying myself. It's better than working a fucking nine to five. Not trying to be no fucking little work slave, little nothing like that. You know, Dana White could fucking pay me in beanie weenies. As long as I'm out there having the glass doing that, that's my we, that's uh, my game, man. We we say wagey out here. You don't want to be a wagey, just working a wage slave your whole life, you know? That that's the phrase we use. Um but any oh, previous no. combat experience? Yeah. I wrestled in high school and uh mm-hmm. played football in high school and Got in a couple scruffles, you know, a couple fist fights, nothing major. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to, I could go out there and fucking knock everybody out. You know, I'm not, I, I don't got no like serious training. I'm just a bad motherfucker and I'm ready to go with whoever wants it, you know, especially if there's some fucking uh, motherfucker standing in front of me talking shit, ready to get it. I'm giving it out. So whoever fucking wants it, you know, I'm not, you know, that's it. That's interesting because everyone I talk to either say they have some sort of MMA experience specifically or they're using power slap as like a way to kind of break the ice with the UFC and kind of slither, make that transition. But sounds like you're here to slap. Yeah, bro, definitely. Definitely. If uh, if the UFC would have wanted them guys to be in the UFC, they would have called them, you know. They're not – it's – I think I've got a level head about everything. I'm ready to be the fucking number one slap fucking striker in the world. You know, many, you know, for many years, for a long time to come, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make a name in this sport, trying to fucking prove a point, trying to do my fucking thing out there, dog. I, I don't give a fuck what's going on. Who's doing this? Who's doing that? I'm trying to get out there and slap some motherfuckers in the grill. That's it. Well, we saw your last fight, and I think we everyone saw a little bit of character come out of you in that last fight. I've been saying I'm I'm a fan. I'm here for it. I think we need a little bit more of that. There's, you guys only got 15, 20 minutes on there to sell yourself to the world. A little bit of that fan flair is good, but is there any real bad blood between um you and Cody there? Uh, the dude, uh, Cody Cox. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't really. You know, I don't fuck with him. I don't know. You know, I ain't got nothing to say about him. We we went after. I thought um, I don't want to give him out too many tips, but, you know, I think he kind of acted like a sore loser. Mm. Um, it's it's kind of it kind of sucks for him, but it's awesome for me, you know, just watching him cry about how he lost, you know, and how he it should have been this. It should have been that Wow, 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 all this bullshit like fucking. It's it's music to my ears to to hear that like and watching the fight over and over you know I've watched the fight plenty of times you know I've seen him flinch like a little bitch you know he's scared of the hit but you know I it's uh, we're all new to it so I'll give him that I'll take it easy on the little guy so so let me ask you this what did it feel like for you right as somebody who who's First time on that big stage, getting that big win, cameras there, Dana White there, got some big names in that crowd. What what was that? Take us through that. What's that feeling like? First time, first time experiencing that. Um it was pretty tight, you know. I uh I enjoyed it. Um it was it was definitely a lot to take in. I wasn't trying to focus on too many other things besides my match, you know, I was just trying to be level-headed and stay focused on what I needed to do because there was a lot going on and a lot that could I could have focused on other than the match. But you know, I just stayed uh, stayed focused and did my thing, man. You know, it's uh, it was definitely new and exciting. So I think the next ones I'm gonna be a little bit more comfortable. I'm gonna be uh, even more excited. You know, I've always been you know outlandish and just 
having fun with everything, fucking with everybody, like just all over the place and anywhere I go, just having a good time. It's, and, and, um, it's just what I'd like to do, man. I just like to have fun with shit, you know, even, even out there as, as a wagey, you know, I was having fun with that, but I fucking hated it every single fucking day. Every day I hated that shit, dude. And it fucking is not fun, man. It's not what I want to fucking do. I don't want to be fucking broke living from check to check. I want to rely on my fucking self and my hustle on my grind, dude. That's why right now I'm putting everything into this, dude. Like I've, I've got no free time. Literally. I ain't fucking around with nobody. Ain't doing nothing but working out, fucking working on my mind, working on everything I need to develop, to be the most baddest, biggest, meanest, dirtiest, fucking hardest motherfucker out there and well, that me, and that let me that's ask just you the this. beginning that's just the beginning well let me ask you this man because i think it's really interesting you, you mentioned something in there very quickly but i think it's very important to this sport you, you mentioned you're training your mind and i've seen a lot of people say that this sport versus a lot of other sports has a huge mental factor you got to sit there and get like you said you got to get prepared to take a hit you can't flinch like there's a whole part to this that you you got to mentally prep for a little bit of meditation. What are you doing to prep for the mental? What what, what are you doing out there? So so that that right there, some people will never develop the mental game that I've got. Some people will never have the gears and the machine and the fucking motor that I got in my brain. They will never understand some of the things, some of the feelings, some of the fucking emotions that I've had channeled through my body and some of the things I've just fucking wanted to let out and held in and just how fucking my blood can boil with a fucking instant. Some people will never have that. Some people won't even be able to fucking understand when they see it. They'll be confused. They'll be lost. They'll be scared. They won't know what the fuck's coming because they know they're looking at a real fucking beast, a monster. They, they can do all the, they meditate all you fucking want, do whatever they want. But this is, this is from, this is from time. This mental, this mental strengths from time. Interesting, man. Well, I, I'm I'm telling you right now, I'm feeling the passion here. Besides the mental thing, I see you got a dummy behind you without giving away the, the secrets of the trade. I know this sport is new. Everyone's got their own little secret that they're keeping close. But what are you doing to train specifically for slap that maybe you wouldn't have done for like a boxing or MMA? I'm, I mean, I'm slapping that thing every day. You know, I'm slapping that thing every day. The, the dude's probably fucking having nightmares about me. As soon as I walk out of this fucking garage, as soon as he don't see me, he's probably fucking shivering his pants. Hoping I don't come back in this motherfucking garage, come slap his shit. This my, dude, that's all I do is slap is my life right now. And it's going to be for a long time. I half expected a picture of uh, of Ryan up on that up on that dummy there, but you got him you got him empty faced right now. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm I'm looking uh, way past Ryan. So I'm looking way past the milk jug titty boy. <laughs> so that the was gonna man. lead me into that. So there's been a little bit back man. and forth on 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 Instagram. We've seen it on the uh, Twitter. Uh, Ryan has responded. Is this is this fight gonna happen without letting us know? Dude, I'm a clean as shit. I'm a fucking knock his fucking block off, dude. I hope I get the chance to clean his clock. He'll be fucking looking up at the stars. The, the man at me. versus the king of kings. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm I'm excited. The queen for of it. queens. The queen of queens. <laughs> the milkman. Gonna give my name change after that one, huh? Yeah. So let me ask you this. Um, without going too much into the big news, because that's the big news that we've all kind of seen right now. When you first read that, were, were you like, "Oh man, the sport doesn't need this this early," or were you kind of just like, "You know what? This is growing pains. We're we're gonna get through this. This is gonna this is gonna happen, and it, it's part yeah. of it." Yeah, it kind of yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like um, it's 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 a part of it, you know. Um, like I I honestly don't I don't have I don't I don't have much to really say about it because. You know, I've always, I've always had it easy in the gym. I've always pushed heavy shit easily. I've never been worried about, you know, I mean, I've got the fucking biceps of a fucking Python and the, the calves of a fucking iron giant. Like I'm, um, never took into consideration that stuff. I mean, 
I, I do think it's kind of soft. You know, it's kind of it's kind of pussy. You know, I do think it's kind of cowardly to do some shit like that. Um, but you know, I don't like it. Like then again, I don't know. I don't even know the story really, right? You know, I don't I don't know the lick too much about it. Um, I'm just really hearing about it today. I seen that little art. You know, I seen that article and that shit don't that shit don't bother me though. I mean, you could you're gonna have to fucking do steroids from the gods. I mean, you're gonna have to get some fucking 1993 cartel fucking Mexican shit fucking even put a uh, fucking a, a, a weird look on my face, you know? I, I'm looking straight through all that shit. I mean, and, and <clears throat> as far as the narcotics go, I don't think they got a drug out there that can make you tough enough to fucking stand against what I've been fucking working on, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely concerning. When I first saw it, I was like, man, this is just going to f- fuel those haters so much more. And, and I'm sure you've probably received a good amount of it. There's a lot of people that hate on Power Slap, whether that be to hate on Dana White or to hate on you guys. I've heard people say you guys aren't athletes, that this this isn't a sport, all this stuff. Like, what, what's your response to all Dude, this? Dude, I'll race here? somebody. I'll, uh, I'll race somebody if somebody wants to fucking play basketball, if – Somebody wants to have a home run derby. If somebody wants to fucking get on the mound and see who throws the fastest fucking slider or curve banger or fucking who's got, the, you know, if you want to get in the gym and push weights, if I could probably, I've got a fucking nice vertical, probably, you know, at least a 36 inch vertical. You know, I don't even know if that's, that's tall, but like that's a couple fucking, you know, jumping things, you know, I see in the gym, I, just, I can just fucking, you know, go on and on. If they want to fucking thumb wrestle, they want to fucking whatever they want to do, you know? I don't give a fuck what they... Th- I, I love hearing the shit talk. You know, the shit talk is what fucking... It's like my... Co- you know, it's like my energy juice. It's like my coffee. It's like my fucking... It's my steroid. It's my narcotic. You know, when people fucking got my name in their mouth, they just fucking uh, send chills, you know? I'm ready for it. It's because they're fucking terrified. They're scared. They're little fucking pussies. That's the only reason anybody's got anything to say is because they're fucking little bitches. That's all it is. I mean, when it comes down to it, you can type as hard and fast as you want, as mean, green, fucking scary. You can look up, put in chat GPT, how do I sound scary on Twitter? All you fucking want. But when it comes down to the rubber meeting the road, your ass is grass and I'm the motherfucking mower, dog. That's it. That that's it. You heard it here, folks. People like it's it's over. Get off that hate train. Power slaps here to stay. The people that are participating in it, they're they're athletes, whether you like it or not. They're here. They'll show you up. I want to go back onto season two. So season two, Dana White saying is going to be Dubai, Russia, Poland, South Africa. Dude, fuck Russia. Fuck South Africa. Fuck Poland. Fuck China. I want the meanest motherfuckers from China, Indonesia, Japan. I hope they're building somebody in the fucking lab right now because I'm a fucking fucking turn their cord off, bro. I'm going to fucking knock anything and everything. Anybody on this fucking rock we're on can get it. I don't give a fuck if you're from somewhere cold, hot, the jungle, a mountain. You're going to fucking get it. That, that fucking dumbass mean- Russians, Chinese, whatever. That seems to be the response I get from everyone that I ask this question to, and everyone. But they seems, don't, you know. They, they better they, mean it, dog. They seem they hyped to do the 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 good old fashioned Rocky Russia versus USA. Like people are telling me, oh, they're coming out in a full flag. If this is the case, what are you doing? You're gonna walk out to some stars and uh, stars dude. and stripes, dude. It's the fucking uh, Leonard Skinner, fucking Kid Rock, Hank Williams, Hank Williams Jr., Hank the Third, fucking DAC. Walking out there, some fucking good old fucking sounds. I'm going to rock the fucking building, dog. They're going to know something's coming out the fucking swamp. A swamp monster's coming to fucking put their nightmares in their fucking face and change their fucking whole dynamic of thinking because they're going to be walking around looking left and right. Oh, is he behind me? Oh, where's the boogeyman at? I'm fucking coming. So you don't think that you don't think these guys are ready for the fuck American China, League? Fuck Russia, fuck Japan, Indonesia, wherever, wherever, wherever. Worldwide, everyone's catching a slap. They're getting it. They're getting. They're gonna it. get Molly Wap, dog. Um. So phone rings right now. Dana White's calling you, and he says, "Hey, Dubai, I got a batch of challengers for you. You're a yes right away." Dude, I got a bicycle right there. I'll start pumping my fucking. <laughs> My legs on the way to the airport, dog. 
That's I'll fire awesome, up man. the fucking Nissan and get her going. Well, I want to see you out there. I hope we see a lot more of you. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of you. I know we're not going to go For into a long too much time detail, to but I feel like you're going to be sticking around in Power Slap. Does anything else interest you? You mentioned wrestling. JT talks about doing tire wrestling, car seat, jujitsu. I know he's bringing a lot of these. Um, he's bringing sumo to the states. Anything yeah. like that piquing your interest? I'm just fucking here to slap some motherfuckers and see what happens. That's see what, what happens. Like. That's what I like. That's what I like to hear, man. Um, I don't want to go too long. I know we're going to jump back onto a live stream after this. Before I let you go, though, where can the people find you? Social media. You got oh, a Daddy merch Slim. store, sponsors. What do you got going on? We, well, we got an Instagram up right now. It's Terp Daddy Slim. Well, um, me and my crew, we're looking at some uh, merchandise right now, maybe some T-shirts, some fucking different things, trying to uh, reach out and touch his get get it get the name out as far as possible you know and, and uh try and do something big with it so some more to come you know definitely working on some things behind the scenes but you know right now on instagram i'm just um you know posting little things you know here and there terp daddy slim your your instagram still probably the, still probably the best one out there on uh anybody on the power slap so if you want to if you want to see some fucking real deal mean monster shit follow terp daddy slim for the fucking man it's it's a fun Instagram. I could definitely recommend recommend the follow. I've been I've been I've been watching. It's a fun one. Um, final You're question for you: Looking for any sponsors currently? I know every once in a while people hit me up and they say, "Hey, can I know tattoo shops this and that?" Every once in a while, people are looking. Are you you looking? You throwing that out there? Any sponsors contact you? Come on, not yet. <clears throat> come on, come and get me. You know, I'm fucking. I'm ready for. Uh, you know, I'm ready for them. We'll talk to talk. You know, we'll shoot the shit. Whoever wants to fucking uh, throw some, throw some, throw some shit this way, you know, we'll clean it up. Awesome, man. Before I let you go, final message to all the fans out there. What do you gotta let? What do you gotta say to them? Let's go. Tune the fuck in. The real deal is fucking here. No more games. No more funny shit. No more the queen of queens. I'm the one. You're the twos, and I'm the one. None of that bullshit. Fucking. Real fucking shit. The fucking man is here. The real deal. I'm fucking here to stay. Come tune in. If you want to see a fucking show, you want to see some fucking lights get turned on and some people get their fucking lights turned off, bring it. Come on, baby. I'm excited. I want to see it. I know the people want to see it. You've been blowing up on social media. Thank you so much for giving us the time to talk to us. Thank you, bro. We're going to jump on the live stream. I'm going to send you the link. You're always welcome to jump on with us. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, bro.